Meghan Markle adds another event to busy schedule as new Duchess hits the ground running. Meghan Markle has hit the ground running as a new member of the royal family as Kensington Palace announced the new Duchess of Sussex will attend another engagement with Prince Harry next month. Meghan Markle may have only become a member of the royal family last month but the new Duchess appears to be settling into the Queen's firm. On Tuesday Meghan made her royal ask debut with the Queen following a full day of public engagements together in Cheshire last week. The popular new royal will also accompany Her Majesty and Harry for the Queen's Young Leaders Awards next Tuesday and now Meghan's July schedule is beginning to fill up. Meghan and Harry will attend your Commonwealth Youth Challenge reception on July 5, Kensington Palace confirmed today. Harry was bestowed the honor of Commonwealth Youth Ambassador in April by the Queen and at the time he said, Meghan, will be joining me in this work, which she too is hugely excited to take part in. Kensington Palace official Twitter account tweeted, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend the Your Commonwealth Youth Challenge reception on Thursday 5th July at Marlborough House in London marking the culmination of the Commonwealth's Youth Leadership Workshop. Meghan attended at least four Commonwealth-related events with Prince Harry before their wedding and it has been suggested the Duchess's new focus could be part of the royal family's Commonwealth charm offensive. With more engagements focused on the Commonwealth planned it appears Meghan could be the royal family's secret weapon to appeal to the Queen's beloved global network. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams earlier told Express Co. UK. Meghan is indeed planning to take her activism around the Commonwealth with Harry as part of the Royal Foundation after the wedding. The fact she is biracial will have enormous appeal to many in the Commonwealth who have previously viewed the royal family as remote. The royals are used for soft power very effectively in visits abroad. This would certainly apply to the Commonwealth as it does to Europe, to promote goodwill during and, assuming it happens. After Brexit, next Tuesday Meghan and Harry will join the The Queen as she hosts a reception at Buckingham Palace for the The Queen's Young Leaders Awards. The Queen's Young Leaders program supports and recognizes young people aged 18 to 29 from across the Commonwealth who are their own lives and lives around them, despite the many challenges they may have faced. The Queen has said of the program, the Commonwealth can only flourish if its ideas and ideals continue to be young and fresh and relevant to all generations. Her Majesty's bond with her new granddaughter-in-law appears to be blossoming as the Duchess adjusts to royal life. While in Cheshire last week the pair appeared to get along famously as Her Majesty was was in stitches over something Meghan had said. The Queen also gifted the new royal a gorgeous pair of pearl earrings for the occasion. Pearls are Her Majesty's favorite jewelry item. Mr. Fitzwilliams believes Meghan's strong work ethic is something the Queen greatly admires about her grandson's new wife. He added, the public has been totally welcoming of Meghan to the extent of Meghan Mania greeting her wherever she goes. She has a work ethic which she has always had. I suspect one of the reasons the Queen welcomed the marriage was that she admired this and saw not only how happy Meghan could make Harry but how committed she was to the causes she believed in and how hard work had led to her becoming a star. Prior to her royal wedding, Meghan had attended 16 royal engagements including visits to Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Attending royal engagements is not required until after becoming a member of the royal family. In recent years the Queen has been slowly scaling back her workload as she prepares to hand over the reins over to heir Prince Charles and the younger generation of royals. However, the 92-year-old monarch revealed this year she is not quite ready hand over everything yet as she increased her workload between January and May. The Queen completed more than 125 engagements, an increase of more than 25 percent from the previous year, according to an analysis of the official court circular. The Queen attended 296 engagements last year which down from 332 in 2016. And in 2015 the Queen carried out 306 engagements in the UK and 35 abroad. 